So one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of new eBay sellers make is that they're still using outdated methods. Now, some of the same methods that I used with my eBay store over the past nine years, some of them don't necessarily work today. And I wanna go through around five or six different things that you guys need to be aware of so that you can prevent yourself from wasting time and wasting money when it comes to building up your eBay business. Now, if you're new to this channel and you've never seen me before, welcome, my name is Sam. And what I do here is break down various different tips and tricks when it comes to making money online. But most importantly, I've been building eBay stores now for the past few years. So I know a thing or two that's gonna help you out on your own eBay journey. So as always, I don't wanna waste any more time. I wanna get right into it. If you find any value in the video at any point, don't forget to press the like button. It really helps out the channel in a big way. Thank you very much in advance. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when a new video has been released. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. All right, so one of the first outdated eBay tactics is to use auction style listings. Now, if you don't know what this is, there's two main ways that customers can shop on eBay. The first way is to use buy it now listings and the second way is to use auction style listings. So around 20, maybe 30 years ago, whenever eBay first started, it was initially an auction website, which meant that customers will go on there and they will see an item that they wanted, they will place a bid, and if they won the auction, that's when they will now send the payment to the seller. However, over the years, eBay has slowly transitioned into becoming more of an instant payment e-commerce website, which means that customers go onto eBay, type in whatever item they want. When they see it, they can buy the item straight away without having to wait five, seven days for them to win an auction. However, there's a lot of new eBay sellers out there, probably yourself, that's still trying to use auction style listings when it comes to growing your eBay business. And I don't really think that this is the best way to do it. And there's a number of different reasons for this. So let's jump into the laptop and I'm just gonna quickly walk you through the customer's journey just so that I can point out a couple things. So for example, once a customer lands on the eBay homepage, what they're gonna do from this point is type in whatever item they want. So in this case, let's use Bluetooth headsets as an example. And straight away, as soon as the customer taps in whatever item they're searching for, they're gonna be given these options at the top right here. So it's gonna be automatically selected on all listings. The next one is accepted offers, auction, and then buy it now. But the most important thing that you need to be aware of is that majority of the items at the top of the search results are buy it now. None of them are really going to be auction style listings. So if you wanna give yourself the best chance of being at the top of the search results and being seen by more customers, you wanna make sure that you're listing your item using the buy it now feature. Because if we take a look at the auction style listings, straight away we can see that majority of them are used, which means that most of these listings are people probably trying to sell items that are lying around their house. However, when we look at the buy it now listings, most of these are brand new items where it's obvious that companies are selling these items. So if you are looking to take your eBay business a little bit more serious, you wanna make sure that you're listing it using Buy It Now. And most importantly, you want customers to have the option to send you the money straight away. You don't want customers to have to wait seven days, 14 days for them to get a chance to send the money because we live in a day and age right now where people wanna go onto an e-commerce website, buy whatever item they're looking for without any delays. All right, so moving on to the second outdated eBay sales tactic that I've noticed a lot of new eBay sellers doing is that they believe that they can only sell one or five, maybe 10 winning products and think that they're gonna get rich that way. When in reality, you're gonna need maybe 30, 50, 100 different SKUs listed on your store for you to even have a chance of making any sort of money where you're gonna be able to do eBay full time. And I would say maybe around 10 years ago, you could maybe list 10, 15 different products on your store and make a lot of money. However, now because there's so much competition, and I'm not just talking about competition on eBay, there's competition just in terms of e-commerce in general, whether it's Amazon, whether it's private sellers, whether it's Shopify sellers, Etsy, there's so much competition nowadays that for you to make any sort of money and a lot of profit, you need to have at least 50 or 100 products listed on your eBay store. And to give you an example of what I'm talking about, there's this eBay seller right here, and they're selling backpacks, and in the last 24 hours, they've been able to sell 22 units. And in total, they've been able to sell over 8,600 units. And if we just click on this link right here, we can see that every single day, they've been able to sell multiple different units. So today so far, right now it's around 12 p.m. They've sold around three so far. Yesterday, they sold around 10, 20, 30 different units. The day before, they sold multiple different units. And the reason why I'm showing this to you is because even though they're making a lot of money, maybe $100, $200 every single day from this one listing, that hasn't stopped them from selling multiple different products. 
And as you can see right there, they've currently got around 389 different listings on their store at the moment. And if we look at Zeke Analytics and type in their name, in the last 30 days, they've been able to generate $70,000. And that came from a total of 600 different listings. And again, just to confirm the point that I'm trying to make, for you to give yourself the best chance of being successful on eBay, you need to get rid of the outdated belief that you can list five, 10 different products and think that you're gonna get rich that way. You're gonna to need to continuously keep reinvesting your revenues and your profits back into your e-commerce business, sell more products, find more winning products, and then that way you're gonna be able to build up a decent amount of revenue on a monthly basis. Similar to what this eBay seller was able to do. They could have just stuck with this one listing, maybe made you know $100 per day, $200 per day, but they knew that they had to sell all of these different products for them to give themselves the best chance of having multiple streams of income coming from their one eBay store. And sticking with this eBay store right here, it now brings me on to the third outdated eBay sales tactic, which is to have a general store. Now, a general store for anyone out there that doesn't know is where you're gonna sell a bunch of different products for multiple different categories. However, in my opinion, I believe that the best way to build a successful eBay store nowadays is to have a niche store. And a niche store is where you focus on selling products within one category. And that's exactly what this eBay seller has done. As you can see, majority of their products have something to do with luggage, bags, purses, you know, suitcases, whatever the case is, because they know that once someone buys an item from them and they're happy with their service and their quality, they're probably gonna come back and buy from them again if they need a similar item, or that person is gonna go tell their friend or their family, if you need a bag or a suitcase, go to this company. And there's so many other benefits that you're gonna get when it comes to building a niche store. One of the main ones is that even before a customer buys an item from you, they're going to think that you're an expert with the items that you're selling because for you to focus on just selling all of these different types of items, you're obviously gonna put some sort of effort when it comes to making sure that you're selling the best quality. However, when customers come across eBay stores nowadays that's selling so many different items, maybe they're selling an item within the DIY category and then another item within the pet category, just a whole range of different items, there's no sense of speciality that you're gonna get from that seller. And it's not that customers are gonna be doing this consciously, this is more of a subconscious thing. And that's why I always advise my students that join Project eBay, which is my step-by-step -step guide, to focus on building a branded store around one category, because I think that this is the best way to build a business on eBay in 2022 and beyond. Now I would say maybe around 10 years ago, it was a lot more easier back then. So you could set up a general store, list a whole bunch of different random products, and you could definitely be successful. And I'm not saying that you can't do that today, but if you wanna give yourself the best chances as a brand new eBay seller that's looking to be successful over the long term, focusing on one type of product and one category is definitely going to give yourself the best chance of succeeding. All right, so the next eBay sales tactic that may have worked maybe three years ago, but I don't really think is working nowadays, is relying on organic traffic and not using paid ads. So for anyone that's new to these terms, I'm just gonna quickly break them down for you. Organic traffic is where you're going to rely on customers finding you organically, using just the search results. Maybe if you rank on the first page, they're gonna scroll down, they're gonna find you. However, when you use paid ads as an eBay seller, you're essentially putting yourself in a position where you're gonna be seen by more customers, but if someone buys from you, you're now gonna to have to pay an ad fee to eBay for them showing you to more customers. And this is a trend that isn't just on eBay. This is something that's happening across multiple different e-commerce platforms, whether it's Amazon, eBay, Etsy. A lot of sellers nowadays have to use paid advertising for them to have that exposure to be seen by more customers so that they're able to make more revenue and hopefully more profit. So just to give you an example as to how all of this stuff works, I've just jumped back onto eBay and I've typed in Bluetooth keyboard. And as we can see, majority of the first few products in the results are being sponsored and you can tell by looking at this section right here. So this seller is using eBay advertising as well as this one. Even HP, the official eBay store, is also using eBay advertising for them to get pushed higher in the eBay search results. So even though HP has built up a really good brand name within the computers, accessories, technology category, and a lot of people would ideally want to buy from them, they still know that they need to use some form of paid ads for them to be seen by more customers. And this is definitely something that I do with all of my eBay stores and all of the products that I'm even thinking about selling. I always like to make sure that I'm calculating the return on investment and making sure that I've got enough margin for me to use eBay ads before I even input the product from China or even 
even drop ship the item. And just to give you a quick walkthrough of exactly how I figure out if I'm gonna have enough margin for me to use eBay advertising, first thing that I do is go onto my supplier's website. In this case, I'm gonna be showing you how I double check prices using adibaba.com. So I've just typed in Bluetooth keyboard right there. Let's say if that's the item that I'm thinking about selling. What I'll do from this point is just scroll through and get an idea of how much it's gonna cost me roughly for me to import the product from China. And I found this item right here. And as you can see, the supplier is charging around $3.99 if I wanted to import, let's say around 20 pieces. And then what I do is go over to the spreadsheet that I created that I use every single time that I'm going to import a product from China that helps me calculate the profit and the return on investment. So as you can see, I've already typed in the name of the item right there, the quantity that I might be ordering, which is around 20 pieces, and then the unit price, which is around $3.99. And then this number right here is the total amount in terms of how much it's gonna cost me for the product, the shipping fee, as well as any sort of payment fees that I'm gonna to have to pay when it comes to sending the money to the supplier. And then this column right here is everything converted into pounds because I'm based in the UK. So I would ideally wanna know how much it's gonna cost me in pounds if I'm gonna be selling primarily to customers within the UK. And then this is the price that I'm gonna sell the item for. This is the potential profit that I'm gonna get back. And this is the return on investment percentage. So as you can see, it's 146% return on investment, which is really good. I ideally like to make sure that I'm gonna get back at least minimum 50%. So for the fact that there's a return on investment of 146%, that definitely shows me that there's enough margin for me to use paid ads or eBay advertising if I did want to sell this Bluetooth keyboard. Now, of course, everything I just went through now is just an example, just to get you guys thinking about the process that you need to go through before you start selling an item, just so that you know that you're gonna be able to run some sort of paid ads, whether it's Google ads, whether it's eBay ads, whether it's Amazon ads, whatever you're thinking about selling, you need to make sure that there's enough margin for you to do so, that you're still gonna make profit and you're still gonna give yourself that opportunity of exposure to be seen by more customers. And I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't be using organic traffic. Of course, that's a great way for you to build up revenue and sales. But at the same time, you need to balance the two. Ideally, you wanna have maybe 30% of your sales coming from paid ads and maybe 70% coming from organic traffic. It all depends on how you wanna structure your store, but you definitely need to make sure that you're implementing some sort of paid advertising into your eBay business. Okay guys, so moving on to the final outdated tactic that you need to stop using with your eBay business is keeping all your eggs in one basket. And the reason why I'm saying this is because around 10 years ago, it was a lot more easier for you to focus on just building an eBay business. Even if you're making $100,000 per month, you didn't really need to have any additional streams of revenue for your e-commerce brand. However, nowadays in 2022 and beyond, I think that it's wise to make sure that you're diversifying your revenue and having multiple different platforms that you're selling on and not just focus on eBay alone because you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Now, of course, if you're new to building online businesses and you're not really familiar with how things work, then of course, put all your focus into growing your eBay business initially. But once you get it to a certain point that you're happy with, even if it's around $5,000 per month, $10,000 per month, that's when you now need to start thinking about branching out to other platforms. And I've been able to diversify my income with my e-commerce brand by selling on all of these different platforms here. For example, eBay, of course, Shopify, Amazon, wholesale, as well as direct sales. These are the main sources of revenue that I've been able to get from my e-commerce brand that I initially started on eBay. And this is the same mindset that you need to have if you've been selling on eBay for some time now. Now I've already made a video going through exactly how I was able to build up all of these different streams of revenue and exactly what you need to know if you are looking to also do the same thing too. I'm gonna to leave that video right there. Make sure you check that one out straight after this video because it's already helped out a lot of people and it's gonna give you some ideas as to what you need to do when it comes to scaling your e-commerce brand. Or if you prefer a more in-depth understanding about everything you need to know about building an eBay business from scratch, then you can visit www.projecteBay.com. In that, I go through everything that you need to know as a beginner when it comes to building your eBay business and the best approach that you need to take so that you're building your eBay store in the most efficient way possible. And I also include this spreadsheet as well and I show you exactly how to use it, how to find suppliers and everything about eBay advertising. So make sure you visit www.projecteBay.com or you can visit the first link in the description down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when a new video has been released. All right guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.